Hi Gemini, welcome to this Tower Love reading. Welcome to this community. My name's Sophia. So Gemini, what I was getting uh, straight away, which is interesting from how I pick up the energy, was reach for the, you know, reach for the stars, reaching for the sky, kind of that kind of optimistic energy, trying to, you know, reach for things that are better. But then I, you know, it's quite hard to describe, but then I feel you, your energy, and I felt you're not actually doing anything. So how I would do the dots with this is that maybe you're researching to do something different because I didn't feel the energy of you being there or even actually taking action on this optimistic. So you could be listening to someone who's making you feel better but it's not feeling, but it, well, it's, it's about feeling and the ones, the action. I didn't feel the action. So literally you could be watching, listening, researching, studying, but there was no action. Whatever you're doing is making you optimistic. I feel this energy is you, Gemini, not your person. doesn't matter if you're crossing to watch for Gemini, if that's your person. We're all star signs, as above, so below not just sun, moon, rising, as above, there's plenty of stars. So it doesn't matter, but I'll just say Gemini, just for the sake of it. So it doesn't matter, it, I feel this is more you who's watching. But it could be, you know, because uh, you're such a strong connection. Um, I still do, sometimes I do, uh, it is hard for me to split the energy because you're such a close connection, but generally I can. Um, but, it, it, you know, I can be mistaken, so this might be your person, but I feel this is you. So, in that case, let's see what's going on with your person. They want those ones, because I, uh, I pre-shuffle Gemini before I pull out the cards, so that's why they come out straight away. They want me to take that. But it's a lot, but I'll take it. All right. Okay, it's not too bad. So, let's see what's happening with your connection. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Death card. Then I'll jump into these. So, let's see what's happening here. There's a battle. <laughs> battle, battle. And it's ending, though. Okay, so this, first of all, I feel this is both of you. Is that connected with the, ah, oh, so maybe you're trying to be optimistic because there's a separation because you had an off. This first one, this five of wands, this is connected with um, other people with this Capricorn controlling your thoughts, your mind, your beliefs, your religion, your tradition, which externally that it's five of wands is internal and external conflicts hands it many hands in many pies right that's why i have all the hands and this is about having the strength to overcome that with leo here there is a conflict with you and your person but the leo in my card is represented i have two strength cards in my deck uh one of them with the strength card is called sexual energy so why I'm connecting that is that you you miss your person, you have that sexual energy is, is a strong, passionate desire for your person, but underneath this is it's not manifesting because of internal conflicts, which is correct. You are here on this earthly plane as an alien being different. Alien means different. You feel different. You know you are different. Well, some of you do. Some of you actually think that, what you are, many have, and it's not. What you are are different. You know, for example, people say what it's like to be twin sister. They don't know much about twin flame. I said, I don't know. I don't know any different. <laughs> so you think everyone feels like you. They don't. You're watching me. You are different. You are alien. You are here to teach people how to manifest. But you're not manifesting your person. You're, uh, you're manifesting your person to be defensive with the seven of wands. Because you have internal battles from other people being defensive or uh, uh, struggles and battles with inside you. Manifestation is as within, so without. 
as above he's pointing as above like i said with the star signs gemini we're all star signs the magician isn't as above to sun moon rising is as above so below this principal law of correspondence so as within so without so it's within you have internal conflicts guess what you've attracted which you will attract your person because that is your contract on planet earth someone who you think is defensive this will die this has to end right because this is a mask death card i have the mask here right and this is about you bowing to other people's belief traditions who also wear a mask what i mean by that is some people just get up for example say if i went to church every sunday and i was some religion with church like right? catholic i don't know religions right and then i had my son and my daughter and they were born into that and every sunday they just went to church so i didn't really talk to them too much about it but every sunday i just went to church then then my son my daughter would just go to church and they'd just say well because you know it's just the family do it and my mum went and she's religious but i never spoke to them about religion i might say you know sunday's a godly day the odd little you know uh, god terms or whatever here's my point there's something that you're following which is the mask which isn't really deeply ingrained it's just a front because that's what a mask is just a front right it's just a front and it needs to die and this get because it's like skeletons in the closet there's something here that is hidden with the death card because my death card has the skeleton in it seeing there which they are bowing to to wearing this mask so that must be that maybe um i don't know i'm getting this i'm gonna say it maybe oh, do i have to say that well it depends you might know it maybe your mum was in love with the pastor is that what you know the church man right so she went to church all the time and that's why she was there she wasn't interested in the church she, she went there because she or in love with someone in the church i just got that that might be for one of you so that's why you went to church right there's something hidden here right with the death card which is like i said it's a skeleton that's bowing to something here and this is my card this is how i see it and it's like it needs to be ended and you like i said it's not for all of you i think you will know so like i said the magician to the five of wands so this gemini is connected with you not manifesting correctly and it needs to die so you can manifest your wishes and desires your emotional fulfillment your person offering this new beginning in love and for it to be here you are definitely so there's heightened passion and emotions but the flip side of that is that there's defensiveness could be arguments could be arguments with the family he's arguing family you're arguing with him and his family his friends that's the opposite but it's a heightened connection with passion and you emotionally feel that person what you do is look your whilst your person is here right defending you i'll be honest he is defending you right because the death card's here it's a new start of defending right is um you're waiting for him to come or her to come with this offer the masculine that's what you're waiting for but like i said this starts with you the magician is here and you've turned your back on how to manifest things you're just waiting for this offer which is 3d it doesn't that's not how you manifest this is about natural law that's why i teach on the kabbalah uh, I teach the Kabbalah. Kabbalah is about a philosophy of how you manifest on this planet with all the alchemical elements, hence the magician card. I do Kabbalah with my picker card readings if you want to check the picker cards. Not all the time, but generally quite a lot. I'm trying to do it on the picker cards reading. I like picker cards as well because it's about using your intuition to pick the card. So this is about, look, you've turned your back on how to do it. You're just doing it 3D. So you're just like, oh, I'm just waiting for my person to stop pissing around with friends and family and come towards me because i'm nine of pentacles miss independent doing quite well up in here thank you very much so he's going to jump in this relationship with me i'm like no not what is your internal burdens 
why you're not manifesting because you're not and you might think i am i'm quite successful but why nine of pentacles always wants the ten of pentacles she's looking for the ten of pentacles which is your person nine of pentacles is very important because it proves that money doesn't buy your person money doesn't buy the happiness and the love of your a person and that's what this divine connection is about is about teaching people that you just follow your loves if you just followed your emotional fulfillment of your person stop waiting for him to fulfill you right stop waiting for the offer you love yourself with this ace of cups which is love then the love will come in how you're doing it now is waiting for this ace of cups by this defensive waiting for your person to come back and stop being defensive and offer this cup needs to die that's what this reading is about absolutely this is the, that way of do you need to know natural laws why you are here what this connection is about that kind of thing twin flame go to my new earth community twin flame community i have a twin flame playlist go in there and you, i promise you you have a different connection people that look at these videos are uh, uh divine connections I'm not saying that just normal soulmates don't have a divine connection everything on this planet is divine you don't come on this planet without divinely guided divinely um all cute all straighted nothing on this is um every uh, is by you know everything is for reason on this planet my point is with this is that you don't you're just treating it like oh a normal relationship which is you're waiting to relate to your person emotions is no relations there's there's no chatting about emotions is it you're looking at him to come and hand you this emotional offer but you are not emotionally loving yourself what burdens are you ignoring which is just keeps manifesting look it's behind you you think oh well now when i was five six seven years old my parents treat me like shit it's behind me that's what you're thinking here because the five of wands is behind her right but i'm like well no because there's no time on this planet i'm sorry but it's true and if you don't believe me, if you don't get your head around it, how can I do tarot? Because I am reading what? And I don't say it like this, but other tarots re read like this. Past, present, future. I just read it all, collaborate it in one, right? I say this is the now, the death card needs to happen in the future. That is what is going to happen. But it's your potential. It's your potential future outcome. If you don't end this, this cycle goes on. So tarot is about your past, present and future. Why do I mention that? Because you put in this burden of your stuff, what happened as a child, five years old I'm getting, behind you. So it happened in the past, but we live in the now. So that past is relevant now, which is why you are attracting someone who's defensive now. Because you still have that energetic negative energy of that five-year-old who was defensive to whatever could be sexual abuse, could be because you're bowing here, there's some kind of bowing down to someone, could have been beaten, scared of someone, someone could have been attacking you, or or your father was a strong character, right, you're suppressing that, which is what, is that negative or positive, that's a negative, and that negative stays within, because the magician points as above, so below, as within, so without, so that's what you need to learn, and stop just looking for people to give you emotionally love when you are attracting the defensiveness because I keep repeating in this, Gemini, that you are the one that have that within. Doesn't matter what looks externally, nine or pentacles looking all great. Look, loving yourself, put behind you, inner work behind you. Where's my person? Where's my person? Where's my person? And feeling your person massively sexually and emotionally that feeling do you hear that word feel in inner work intuition insight inner knowing that's what this is that's why i have a galactic school teaching all that stuff not external not eyeballs you are looking for your person insight is what you need you want to know how to do all that then go to my website this is about cutting or look the ten of pentacles here Cutting out, just wanting the house, the car, and all that kind of thing, right? 
This is about you emotionally fulfill. Ace of Cups is way better than Ten of Pentacles. You can have all the money in the world. Nine of Pentacles could have be a millionaire. But she wants the Ten of Pentacles, the house, the car, the person. But you want the house, the car, the person. You have to be emotionally fulfilled inside to attract a masculine, right? Your person, man or woman, to offer you that. So that's what this is about. Cutting it out. The Ace of Swords. Cutting it out, right? Being in your truth of who you are. You're not in your truth. That's behind me. It's behind me. That's what you're doing. No, it's not. It, now. Everything is now. That's all. It all happens in the now. Time is simply so I can say, next week, Thursday, I will do another Gemini reading. That's all time is. A focal point. We live in, and that's why I say do I do an energy reading with you, an image reading, because I can um, check your energy from the inside to see what this is. I can't tell you for individually, but there's something here which I feel, like I said, you had to bow to. Like your dad could have hit you and you was like putting your head down, something like that, hiding, scared, wearing a mask as well now. So this is about, look, strong connection. You, this is what you want. Right. I'm not saying you can't get it. It's here in your reality. Everything you've heard that in the vortex, you know, Abraham Hicks makes it so easy. I'll just think about things and put it in a vortex and then it comes into your reality. Yeah. All those people listening to that, all those thousands of millions of views and she can't even produce one person to show. Oh, this person got his stuff from the vortex. Not one example of it. Right. This is about you understanding natural law, not bullshit man-made law like council tax, right? Okay, so if you want to know more about yourself, check out the Twin Flame playlist. If you want to buy the program, that goes way into more, far more detail or book an image reading with me, and then I can help you to transmute that energy, right? That's what ne is needed because this is in your awareness. This is a massive, deep, emotional offer coming in, in truth. In truth, it's teaching you to be in your truth. Your person is here to teach you to be in your truth. With the Ace of Swords here, truth is, your twin flame. That's what you need to learn about. That's the truth. Ace of Swords, right? Your masculine is a twin flame. And all my aces in these decks, I've made, Fra well, I asked Fran, what she nicely done, put all the alchemical elements in them. Earth, air, water, fire. This is about you manifesting right and the yellow around that is about healing manifesting your happiness yellow is the sun happiness is the sun card the sun card is connected with your twin flame they are your happiness okay so check out the website speak to you later